kanske var operation studie har bara som jag säger bara som kan kallas the honor to the pastors and the elders of great millstone and salutations to the hopeful electors pushing his truth and sincerity so i want to go into um a thing that i noticed you know during camp you know we was going in from different type of topics edifying a sister that came up faithful sister asking uh wise questions and she obtained uh the wisdom knowledge and understanding of your how about shai so we reached the point of uh, talking about the balfour declaration the establishment uh the declaration better to say where they appointed the holy land unto themselves these edomites these amalekites and one of the brothers made a statement where with he said those are kazarians the first thing that happened in my mind when he when he said it i quickly made a connection onto how many people perceive them as Ashkenazi because i'm not i'm not quick in using the uh, the term Kazarians referring to these elites I either say Amalekites or um, the Jewish or um, like how they label themselves as well the Zionists the fake you say the, the fake Jews or the 1948ers so when the brother made when the brother made that 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 uh, comment that statement in my mind I immediately had that connection how people perceive them and how they call themselves how they like to be known as Ashkenazi Jews and Ashkenazis are from the tri of from the from the loins of Japheth. Noah had three sons, Ham, Sham, and Japheth. You see, so there is a lot of confusion, a lot of deception taking place upon this earth. And we know that they are in the art of war. The art of deception is one of the power tools which is causing the people to believe that they are the chosen people and not even to understand that we truly are the chosen people pertaining unto the most high. So let me read a small piece of this thing to 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 give you understanding about what these what these deceitful uh, serpents are doing upon this earth, man. So it says the Rothschild family is the richest family in the world. They control somewhere in the area of 550 trillion uh, uh, U.S. dollar, which is roughly half of the money in the world circulation. The Rothschilds have been in control of the world for a very long time. The uh, tentacles reaching into many aspects of our daily lives as documented in the following timeline however before you jump to the timeline please read the invaluable introduction which will tell you uh, who the Rothschilds are and opposed to who they claim to be the Rothschilds claim that they are Jewish and, and when it says Jewish it's it's correct because the meaning of ish it says to some extent you know which is pertaining to be for example when when a girl is acting like a boy you will say girl why are you acting boyish she is not a real good she's not a real boy but she's acting as a boy you see the same thing with the jewish they are not the true jews we are the true chosen people of the most high the hebrew israelites but they're pertaining they're acting they're portraying themselves as if they are also they are jewish you know they wish to be us when in fact they are Khazars they are from a country called Khazaria which occupied the land locked between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea which is now predominantly occupied by Georgia the reason the Rothschilds claim to be Jewish is that the Khazars under the instruction of of the king converted to the Jews faith in 740 AD and that's how you got the the, the Judas religion because the Judas, the Judaism, let me say it by right, Judas, Judaism, Judaism is merely based on uh, one of the sons of of uh, of Israel of Jacob, and the name of that son is called Judah. You see, so they created what they did based on. Let's get it. Here. Yeah based on the name of this son called judah they created a religion called judaism but you got to be of the bloodline this is this is one these are the sons of jacob of israel and they are not part of that bloodline they are they're part of the bloodline which is from east or edom you know Ishashwa. so they created a religion and they called it judaism 
and by the creation of that religion called Judaism, they claim to be part of the bloodline of the seed of Israel, while they're not part of the bloodline or the seed of Israel. You see, that's the deception that is taking place upon this earth. So it goes on. Um, and then it says, but of course, that did not include converting the Asiatic Mongolian genes to the genes of the Israelite people, the true chosen people. Let me say it like that, because this this thing is written in a very deceptive way. If you if you don't understand, if you don't read comprehending, you're going to be lost in it. You will find that approximately 90 percent of the people in the world today who call themselves Jews are actually Khazars, Khazars or as they like to be known Ashkenazi Jews but this doesn't make any sense because when you say Ashkenazi Ashkenazi let's let me just quickly get that man this is in the book of Genesis the book of Genesis chapter 10 verse um, verse 2 the sons of Japheth Gomer and Magog and Madai and Japhon Tubal and Meshech and Teres it says and the sons of Gomer Ashkenaz and Ripta and Togama you see and to be part of the chosen people of the Most High is not from is not from the loins of, of Japheth neither from Ham but from the loins of Sham you see and that's that's the loins where we from we are from we are from Sham it says it here now these are the sons of Noah Sham Ham and Japheth here it goes in onto the sons of Japheth. Here it goes in onto the sons of Ham. Let me see where we go into the sons of Shem. Here. <coughs> here it says, Onto the Shem, the father of all the children of Eber, Eber, Heber, Hebrews, the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were born children. So now you see the children of Shem Elam, Ashur, Arphaxit, and Lot, Aram. The children of Aram, Uz, Ru, Geda, Mash, and it goes on, 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 it goes on. You know? So the true chosen people of the Most High are from this line, from Sham. Ashkenaz is from Japheth. So when they state that they are, they say that they're the chosen, the Jews, the chosen, but they're not the Jews, that's why they say Jewish, they're pertaining to be, and yet they want to claim to be Ashkenazi. Now you, you want to be part of two, two different seed lines of, of the sons of, of, of Noah. It doesn't make any sense. You see, so they're causing, they're causing mad confusion upon this earth, and many people jump and use these titles and cause the confusion. And that's what happened as soon as the brother mentioned this. I received this in my mind. And then the brother started explaining, I was like, oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you know? So, you see how the spirit of the Most High is working, man. The Most High is, will, will always air out and give complete understanding about what is taking place in the situation, you see? That's, that's the beauty of the Most High. I can put the, I can put the link of this, uh, of this, of this uh, website as well with it. I want to go into some scriptures to show you how and what, is actually taking place when you're standing there you know because we have to cover these things and give people the understanding so that they will not think or believe that uh, um, it truly is the same you know this thing is about edifying we have to feed the the sheep with the right knowledge we have to guide them on the right path we can't mislead, mislead the, the, the people the sheep man it says in the book of uh, Sirach chapter 4 verse 24 it says um, for by speech wisdom shall be known and learning by the word of the tongue you see by speech by uttering the words of the, the heavenly father Yahweh Bashim Yashai wisdom shall be known you know and the, and the spirit was moving and the spirit was moving going around brothers been 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 uh, edifying uh, adding words adding the understanding of of what had to be brought out in order to 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 edify the sister or the listener man it says in no wise speak against the truth but be abashed of the error of thine ignorance yeah because when you when you off you off there's no there's no reason or any form of pride that should be coming up like no it's right you're trying to 
to, to look away for loopholes and justifying it off is off when you stand corrected you stand corrected and you let the spirit uh, uh, um, bring it out in order to, for the people to get edified the book of Sirach chapter 32 verse, uh, verse 7 speak young man if there be need of thee and yet scarcely when thou art twice as that's why this thing is not about being being a rambler you know when you speak you speak you speak uh, in volume you know you speak in volume your word should 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 be having a magnitude and not just rambling like just just that's why most of the time what i'm trying to do when i'm when i'm going to things and when i'm trying to explain things i want to pull as much scriptures as i can i'm trying to be less talkative and use more scriptures and explain the answer which i'm giving you by the use of the scriptures you know it's like yeah gone so let me read it again it says speak young man if there be need of thee and yet scarcely when thou ask twice you see so that's why you're trying to comprehend much by the usage of less words man when we explain things we want to use the scriptures to edify not your 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 words your words are only to explain what the scripture is saying you see sometimes you read scriptures scriptures explain immediately what it means it's not difficult to to receive what the scripture is saying but most of the times even even when the scripture is very simple to understand we explain or we use examples it says let thy let thy speech be short comprehending much in few words be as one that knoweth and yet holdeth his tongue you see you use you use few words to explain in depth you know sometimes you go from precept to pre you go from precept to precept you explain the precepts and the person understands you know in this case the spirit was like going more into the history and everybody has his skill has his talent concerning getting into this truth one knows more about history the other knows more about uh, the breakdowns of revelation the other knows more as more understanding or the remembering where scriptures where you can find things everyone has 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 a certain talent and the talent that is bestowed upon you needs to be used uh, um, well and and to the maximum in the body which the most high is establishing upon this earth you see so everybody needs to contribute in the building process of this 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 thing of us man which pertains unto the most high it says if thou be amongst great men make not thyself equal with them and when ancient men are in place use not many words yeah that's why when for example if you if you would be amongst the apostles you wouldn't be on the same level of of continually talking and mentioning things you remain quiet if you want to say something or when they pop when they drop the pop quiz then if you know the answer you raise up your hand that's that's more the energy but when you would be amongst the apostles the energy would be more like listening listening obtaining impatience because most of the time when you might have a question and you don't even and you don't even immediately pop up like well, what does it mean sometimes brothers you see brothers posting questions upon the comment board but most of the time when i have something in my mind and i'm like what about this i first of all go on youtube i research i look if it has already been covered because most of the things are covered on the internet everything can be found on the youtube the brothers the elder apostles still down the elders uh, uh, the brothers the young lions coming up they cover videos so when you might be in a certain topic and that also shows you that we have to refresh things you got to refresh things because we we are humans man we forget things you know things you know scriptures you know breakdowns you know history you know things but we also forget that's why we have to refresh that's why the scripture says study to show thyself approved 
you got to study to show yourself a proof because you don't want to you don't want to end up in a predicament where you say something or where you teach something that is contrary unto the truth as scripture saying in no wise speak against the truth you know so let me go on the book of uh, Sirach chapter 4 verse uh, uh, where is it 29 it says be not haste in thy tongue and in thy deeds slack and remiss yeah don't be too quick with your mouth to say things man don't be too quick because being quick can lead to saying something which is off that's why we always have to be slow to hear you know listen listen closely listen closely or, or what does it say slow to hear it's quick to quick to hear and slow to speak so like, yeah. you know I'm, I'm also going to grab that scripture because I have, I have the scriptures on deck the book of Sirach chapter 19 verse 16 there's one that slipped in his speech which I had at that moment connection was made quick in my mind I ordered it but not from my heart no not from your mind not from your from your from your inward parts you know not in your sincerity because you ordered based on the connection that was made which the people immediately make when you use the the, the term Kazars Kazar, oh Ashkenazi this that boom it's like no and then the brothers start going into it and I said oh wait I was thinking about Ashkenazi Kazars you see and who is he that had not offended with his tongue who is he that had not offended with his tongue you will say things you will do things you know with the tongue and it's not it's not premeditated you see that it's it's totally different when you when you premeditated are going to say things in order to offend or you say something without uh, the understanding at that moment that you are offending or that you're going off you see but as soon but but the but the spirit immediately the spirit immediately is taking out the leaven because that's what it is it's it's a form of leaven it goes against the truth in the book of uh the book of sirach chapter 5 verse 2 it says follow not thine own mind where's that scripture man <sighs> okay here sirach 5 verse uh, verse 10 be steadfast in thy understanding and let thy words be the same you got the words which we speak that's why we speak about we mention sound doctrine the doctrine needs to be in soundness it needs to be without mixture unto our people be steadfast in your understanding in order to be steadfast in your understanding you gotta you gotta sharp things you gotta remain in studying man and you 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 encourage or you provoke each other in doing those good works as well be swift to hear and let thy life be sincere and with patience give answer this is what we all continually need to apply man and the reality is when you're standing there on the streets reading the scripture and knowing the scripture is something else is in applying it continually because the energy is continually moving brothers and brothers are speaking with passion you're explaining things you're making connections with with the with the listener you know you're guiding you're showing you know so being swift to hear means you gotta be you gotta be attentive everybody needs to be focused when 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 there's been spoken everybody needs to be focused and that's the spirit of the most high so when one is saying something that goes against the truth the other is immediately there to correct because the most high the most high desires perfection he is not pleased with an establishment with 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 a feeding of something onto the people which is not in line with what the most high wants the people to receive the sheep to receive 
If thou hast understanding, answer thy neighbor. If not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. When you know, you let the people know. If you don't know, then you remain quiet. You see? That's why I'm not I'm not all knowing concerning history. I always say like, yo, <laughs> there are brothers, there are brothers around me, brothers that I roll with, brothers that go into the, the scriptures, they went to the history, go into these things. They got they got knowledge which I, I, I ask, we sit, we study, we go into things, you learn. That's how the scripture speaks about you multiply your talents. You know, you multiply your talents also upon this earth. But I'm not going to say that I know the whole history of everything that we went through. I, I, <laughs> I sincerely don't. There are many things concerning history, what happened with us, that I still don't know. No. I'm still reading, still learning, still growing, developing in it, you know. But the most important things are known. When you go into prophecy, the time that we're living in, it's known, you know. Important pieces of, 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 of the most important uh, pieces concerning history is known. In order to edify the brothers, our people, uh, uh, according to the spirit and power of the most, High, it's known. You see? Let's go on. The book of James, chapter 1, verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, listen attentive, slow to speak. Don't immediately jump the gun. And slow to wrath. You know, don't be too quick when somebody says something that is not in line with what you think or what you believe. That's why, that's why, man, I was standing there with a brother. I know that brother for quite some time, man. We had many debates, man, back and forth, showing the brother, that, 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 scriptures. Brother's like, bro, look this, that, 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 look at me, look, look at what I'm, you know? But we didn't, we were, we were not moved in wrath concerning when we were trying to show each other these, these things, you know? Our, our point of view. You know, we, we, we remain spiritual, man. Like, that's how you grow. That's the, the, the scripture speaks about the church of Berry. Let me, let me get that, man. Uh, church of Berry. Leave, type it like this. Okay, don't type it like that. You know, because the church, the church of Berry, The Church of Berry was more honorable because they, they really went into the studying and the obtaining of the scriptures. And that's the same thing that our people need to do. When we tell them, when we tell you, when we break things down, when we're trying to give you understanding, it's, it's, it's not about immediately being like, oh yeah, you're right. No, the spirit should be like, you got to research what we say. You got to study what we say, what we explain go home research the thing go figure it out like yo what's the brother saying okay boom 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 you go into history if it's history you're going into history if it is the breaking down of a scripture precept upon precept you go into it and you trying to obtain and to see if you truly understand what is being said the book of acts chapter 17 verse 11 these were more let me read up a little bit more man. uh first 10 and the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berry, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica. In that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. That mind needs to be inside of our people. Not that spirit where they go to those temples built by hands, those churches, those Christ insanity churches where they just sit and then they listen to a pastor and they just gobble, they just gullible, they believe everything that is being said. When you hear something with a readiness of mind, you want to research it. Let's, let, let's, let's go into the readiness of mind, breaking down the words that I mentioned over here. What's it saying in the book of, uh, the book of Acts 11, right? What's Acts? Sorry, Acts 17. Okay, Acts 17 verse 11, we go into the word noble, you know, receive the word with all readiness, 
you know but let's go let's go to first to the noble and then we go into search to search and I'm most likely goes in to examine to research to but let's go into this rich noble readiness of mind and and search the scriptures Strong's G 2104 Eugenace Eugenace it says noble man more noble noble well born of a noble family noble minded you know highly ranked like that's actually the righteous side of the of the the righteous aristocratic mind you gotta have concerning the scriptures you you want you want full understanding complete understanding of the scriptures that's what we want and in order to obtain complete understanding of the scriptures you gotta you gotta put in work it requires discipline and research and study you know diligence in abiding in those things that's what the most i requires from us man so it says uh a search when you go into the word oh let me first get readiness of mind readiness of mind strong's g 4288 prathumia 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 it says forwardness of mind readiness readiness of mind a zeal the spirit the eagerness inclination readiness of mind so you got to be eager you got you the scripture says the lord wants you to be hot you, he doesn't want you to be lukewarm when you when you in this truth when you deal with this when you deal with the with the wisdom knowledge and understanding of the most high the most High wants you to be he wants you to be in that eagerness of mind to obtain to understand you are striving you're fighting for for the for for this thing that's the mind that the most high demands of you man not no complacent mind or thinking that you already have it no man when you when you when you have obtained this knowledge you gotta you gotta stay dedicated about studying refreshing your mind because you learn things and we learn a lot of things in this truth man we go into study we go into history we go into the meaning of words we go into the uh, uh, precepts, the remembrance where where scriptures are. We go into the breakdowns of 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 uh, the, uh, the the prophecies. There are so many things which are written in the scriptures which we obtain, but which we always need to remember, you know, because this thing is not only about obtaining remembering, but also applying it, applying it and teaching it and and sharing our experience in this truth that's what that's the what's what the most high demands from us man because the obtaining and applying and the teaching it that's the perfection you know that's the perfection of yahweh bar shimmy and shine strong's g350 anacrino 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 it says to examine or judge what is it that we examining or scrutinizing we're scrutinizing the scriptures the scriptures of Yahweh Bashim and Shai is what we scrutinize, man. And to judge, to interrogate, oh man, estimate, determine. So daily, daily we are examining the scriptures, but yet we also demanding and praying and asking the Most High to examine us, so that the Most High can show us what we're doing off in the eyes of Him. Because this thing is about seeking seeking the faith of the most high that's where it's all about we need the faith of yahweh bar shimishai amongst these crooked and perverse people man that that's that's the difference between our mind and their mind they don't care they don't consider what is about to happen they don't they don't they they lack vision that's what the most high says they lack vision they can't see what is about to come what is the near future while we have received the eyes self of the most high to understand and to see what is going to happen and where you know and where you can see what is going to happen you're not going to be an infidel like how these creatures are moving upon this earth you're going to you're going to be moved by the fear of the lord and the fear of the lord is the beginning of what of knowledge of all wisdom and that's what we need upon this earth man the fear of the lord so jumping back to the book of james the book of james chapter 1 verse 19 therefore my beloved brethren let every man be swift to hear slow to speak slow to wrath for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of the most high 
the wrath of man is a carnal is a carnal um, is carnal fruit you know I always use this example when uh, Nepa was fighting against uh, against Kakarot Nepa was so so furious so blinded in his rage that it actually actually was it was blocking it was blocking his full potential power against against Kakarot and um, that was the moment when when uh, Vegeta also said like Nepa calm down you know because Vegeta saw that the blinding rage that Nappa had was was actually blocking and obstructing his true uh, uh, capacity concerning power. The same thing it is with us. You cannot be moved and be led by the emotion of wrath. When you get led by the emotion of wrath, you're not working righteousness, but you're working in the spirit of the carnal fruit which is going to lead to your own destruction. We got we to gotta tap into the Holy Spirit of the Most High. The book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 1. If there be therefore any consolation in the Mashiach, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercies, fulfill you my joy that you be like-minded. You see, because we, we, we are church. The church is the body of the Most High. And the body of the Most High needs to be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let's get, let's go into this, man. That's why, that's why many a times we explain about there's no such thing as unity camps if, if the minds are different. You know, many things I explain, and uh, 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 concerning the things that we teach, we gotta be in one mind. You know, because if there is not a oneness of mind, that is already confusion. That's already confusion. Now, when I spoke about certain topics, certain things, I always show and I speak about, I believe that we built the pyramids when we were slaves in Egypt. Others might say like, well, we, I don't believe this, 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 oh no. But according to faith, that's what we, that's, 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 that's a thing based on faith, you know one other man might say like i don't believe that so i also spoke with the brother like okay we're gonna go we're gonna we're gonna go into this next time man you know when when i'm with the brother by myself we go into these things and he shows me things and i'm showing him things you know but certain things are just based on faith you know you either you either believe it or you don't that's the same thing concerning um um reincarnation Others might say, like, I don't believe that this man is him, or I don't believe, but that's based on faith. It's the spirit and, and faith together that, that brings brothers to, to, to other certain things. You know, so let's go into this word, man. Strong's G846, Altas. 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 You know, it says like minded. Let me see, because here himself, herself, themselves, itself, themselves, the same. That, that's the sound doctrine so when we teach you're not going to have difference like one is saying Edomites are going to be judged and ending up in captivity and after that exterminated you can't have somebody standing next to you saying like yo bro no man hey they, they can be safe man they can repent as well man no there's no such thing as as confusion within the body at, in, at, at that type of way when you teach, you, you're being on one accord. You're being on one accord. So the same thing happened the moment when the brother mentioned about the Khazarians and I made the link concerning the Ashkenazi and I said, no, 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 no. The spirit immediately, the, the spirit immediately restored the thing that was said, which was contrary onto the oneness. That's what the Most High did. He immediately restored it, man. The book of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 15. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if anything ye be otherwise minded, Yahweh Bashim Yashai shall reveal even this unto you. And that's what he did. You see, so we, we're standing this, we're standing there and we're doing the works of the Most High. Everything that we do is very spiritual, man. When you might even think you just utter something, the Most High is immediately directing. Boom. Because this thing is about the edification of the church. This is not—it's it's not a light thing what we're doing when we serve Yahweh Bashim Yashai. 
Nevertheless, where too we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. What is it that we mind? The kingdom of heaven. How, we, how can we achieve the kingdom of heaven? By walking in the instructions of Yahweh Bar Hashim Yashai. By, um, by abiding diligently and being occupied in the instructions. Watch and pray, study, give attendance unto reading and praying. Taking your moments of fasting because the spiritual warfare, the attacks are going to increase heavy. Demons are going to attack you heavy. That's the time we're living in, man. The book of uh, the book of Sirach, chapter five. I, I believe I already brought this one out, right? Uh, yeah, I already brought this one out. So going on. The book of Proverbs 27 verse 17 Iron sharpened iron So a man sharpened the countenance of his friend You see so You you keep each other Hey the brother The brother from um, GMS uh, Atlanta uh, Beautiful video about Every man in his truth Gotta keep an edge of himself You know But with he's actually He was a, a, the, the beautiful The video was powerful man like I, I watched it and I watched it again with listening to the things that he was saying powerful you cannot get complacent in this truth don't don't get into a spirit like you've been in this truth for quite some time and now you're just going lollygag and think you're already there you being there yet man this thing is about continually labor until we reach into the rest you can't lollygag in this truth and think you already made it man you gotta be studious you can't you can't be uh, 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 fixated on, on, on fun or continually about movies or how he said the video games or, or whatever things that, that can lead your mind astray from this truth this is the main thing all your energy first of all is, is channeled towards doing the will of the most high and when this is done when you fulfill the will of the most high then the rest can come that's, that's, that's second, third, fourth, fifth or tenth the first thing that we do is praising and serving Yahweh Ba Shimmer Shai every day. Every day, day in, day out, you wake up with Yahweh Ba Shimmer Shai. And you don't get complacent, man. What's the saying? Idleness is the playground of the devil. Don't get idle. Let me get a scripture about that. The brother went in, man. The brother went in. He went in. Idleness is the playground of the devil. So we gotta stay we gotta stay occupied in doing what we have to do for the most high, man. You know, here Exodus 5 and 17, but he said, You're idle, you're idle. Therefore, you say, Let us go and do sacrifice to the Most High. Many people are idle, man. Many are idle. And this is not the time to be idle. Idleness can lead to death. Idleness can lead to death. You gotta be occupied. You gotta be, you gotta be dedicated. We got to be passionate concerning serving the Lord, concerning going into the scriptures, concerning measuring the time diligently, concerning knowing what the devil, the enemy, the elites are doing upon this earth. And even peons in the system. But the most I will take care of everything, man. The Lord will take care of everything, man. So let's go on, man. So the scripture says, Iron sharpened iron, so a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. You keep your brother sharp. You watch your brother. You're your brother's keeper. You know? We all we got in this thing, man. We we don't got felt they these people don't watch you. These people don't care about you, man. We only care about each other because we look out for each other. We can see what the wicked is trying to do towards us. The people that are not occupied with this, they're already captured and snared by the lure by the by the wiles of the devil. This is only for our people, man. Only for them. The book of Proverbs 25 verse 9. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and discover not a secret to another, lest, lest he that heareth it put thee to shame, and thine infamy turn not away. When we, when we debate, and I debated much with the brother, man. The brother, hey, hey, we, we cool, and we go back, we go way back, man. We go back, we go way back. I, I spoke with the brother many times. Ta -ta 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 -ta. He showed me things. So, uh, so, ta -ta -ta. You know? And we're cool. There's no, there's no strife or tensions like, man, fuck you, nigga, you believe. Like, 
yo the thing that happened with Elizar is crazy it's crazy you got you got the man coming up over there having a different uh, 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 a doctrine and this man trying to assassinate the gorilla Hebrews like crazy man but that shows you that when we say we put our life on the line you got to understand the magnitude of what we're doing because everything anything can befall you this this is the hate that is even amongst your own people because they are get they getting offended because of the word this man pull up a gun squeeze the trigger pull, push bullets six bullets i believe six bullets got shot towards 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 uh towards that man towards the brother but the most i protected him the most i protected him and that's but it shows you the hate that is in, inside of our people and it let me get that scripture man because people don't understand how we put our life on the line for serving the most high they don't understand what we do but the most high is watching the angels are watching and they see the sacrifices which we made man the book of F, the book of romans chapter 12 verse 1 i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of the most high that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto the most high which is your reasonable service this is the most reasonable thing that we can do after we sin and we disobey the most high the lord jehovah shai who they call jesus christ in ignorance he laid down his life so that we could restore and be brought back the adoption unto the most high now we're walking upon the same path and we being we be we walking in the image in our example Yahweh Shai. what is taking place right now and right here upon this earth we getting assassinated you know spiritually crucified the hate the demonization you name it man it's taking place we are that sacrifice that righteous sacrifice pertaining unto the most high like how the lord was sacrificed and we hey, I'm, I'm more than willing to lay down my life for the lord if it means that i have to lose my life for this truth man hey so shall it be man then so shall it be but i don't fear we don't man let's let's we don't fear death man we don't fear death we stand what we stand for we stand for righteousness we will teach righteousness we will walk in righteousness and if it means that they want to take our life because of our righteousness we will yet get our crown from the most high remaining faithful in the covenant towards him because that's where it's about this thing is not about drifting and turning away into people that want to put fear or dread upon you man we don't we don't fear people we fear the highest almighty power that's who we fear you know so yeah man let's go man hey but that's hey that was actually that was it man you know so when things are being said and when things go uh, uh contrary onto onto the doctrine or truth the spirit of the most high is immediately restoring it that's what i that's what i saw and that's what i noticed and i already know that the most High operates in that way but i sat at home and i was watching because i watched the videos and i named the videos i, I named them and i went uh, uh, across that piece and i was just sitting and watching it and i was like the spirit was, the spirit was heavy the spirit was moving and immediately restoring everything that uh had to be restored anything that was like okay this could this could cause a little bit of confusion immediately the other brother was adding on and explaining and and giving more understanding i was like oh, they oh man this this is this is beautiful man you know that's beautiful that's just beautiful man so all praise to you how about